Hi everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. This is Nathan from Crux School and today I will talk to you about Ethereum 2.0. You might have heard a lot about it in the past couple of months and we heard a lot of people talk about it, but they weren't always right or precise on what's exactly going to happen. So in the first part, I will explain to you what exactly is Ethereum 2.0 and why it even exists. And then we will go more in depth on how this whole process is going to be implemented. Ethereum 2.0 is a set of measures that will be implemented on the Ethereum network and that will change a lot of its aspects. As you might already know, right now the Ethereum network works thanks to a proof-of-work algorithm, which means that every node validates every transaction. Right now, it means that the network can only validate around 15 transactions per second. And when you think about it, it is a pretty low number considering the amount of Ethereum users every day. With Ethereum 2.0, the scalability of the system will be enhanced and is expected to validate thousands of transactions per second. Achieving this new scalability objective requires a set of numerous new features that a lot of different actors of the Ethereum ecosystem are working on. And one of the major changes is that Ethereum 2.0 will be shifting to a proof-of-stake algorithm. Why? Because it is faster, more secure, and it solves the problem of massive energy consumption that entailed the proof-of-work system. With proof-of-stake, there will be no machines investing their resources anymore, but economic incentives. People who want to participate in validating transactions will be able to stake their Ethereum and become validators. And by staking, we mean immobilizing Ethereum tokens on the network. By doing so, a validator will receive new Ethereum every time he participates in the validation of a block, based on the amount of Ethereum he staked. Keep in mind that the rewards will also depend on the amount of total Ethereum staked on the network. So now, you might be wondering, how is this system more secured uh, compared to proof-of-work? Well, Ethereum 2.0 comes with a feature called slashing that punishes validators who engage in fraudulent activities. Basically, if you are not doing your job right or are inactive, you will be slashed for it, meaning that the system will take a part of the Ethereum you staked depending on how prejudicable your actions have been for the whole network. This ensures that everyone does their job right and that no 51% attack can occur. Now, if we go a bit deeper in the process of how Ethereum 2.0 improves its ability to handle transactions, we have to talk about sharding. As mentioned before, with the current proof-of-work system, each node has to validate every transaction. This takes a lot of time and resources, making the validation process extremely inefficient. Sharding is basically a process of splitting the work that has to be accomplished between multiple shards on the network. Initially, there will be 64 shards, and each node will only have to run one shard. With this system, nodes are easier to run because they validate transactions in parallel instead of doing it simultaneously more participants can join the network, it is more decentralized and also more secure. You now might be wondering how sharding is organized, and that makes us a perfect transition to talk about the beacon chain. The beacon chain is the main feature of the phase zero that launched on the 1st of December 2020 and acts as a coordinator for the whole system, including the shards. To explain how shards work, let me introduce you to the time frame that sets the pace on the beacon chain the epoch. It is the heartbeat of the chain which ensures that blocks are created regularly. An epoch is composed of 32 slots, with each slot lasting 12 seconds. At each epoch, validators are randomly assigned to committees, which are groups of at least 128 validators whose role is to validate blocks suggested by proposers. Randomness is crucial, as it prevents a specific set of validators to coordinate fraudulent attacks. The beacon chain is a really important part of Ethereum 2.0 system, as it organizes the work between and among shards. For now, the beacon chain only organizes the transactions of the Ethereum 2 network. It has no link with the current Ethereum chain, 
But one day, what we now know as the Ethereum chain will become one of Ethereum 2.0's shard. And this phase, which should happen late 2021, early 2022, is called docking. It is one of the final steps. The old Ethereum chain will become a part of the new system, and this will mark the end of Proof of Work as we know it, and start a full and hopefully smooth transition towards Proof of Stake. So, as a current Ethereum Proof of Work miner, you are probably wondering, will my rig become obsolete? What will I do? How will I be able to mine Ethereum once ETH2 is fully launched? Well, first of all, keep in mind that this whole process is planned to take around two years for now, and that this time might be extended depending on the difficulties encountered by the different Ethereum teams. No one can predict what will really happen to proof of work, but the Ethereum that you are mining today can be used to stake on the Ethereum 2 network. If you want to start staking today, stay tuned to Cruxbull social networks, as we might have something to announce on this topic pretty soon. And if I were you, I wouldn't want to miss it. I hope that today's video was clear for you and that you understood what Ethereum 2 and staking are about. If you have any questions on this topic, we would be happy to answer in the comments. Or you can join our Discord server, the link is in the description below. In any case, stay tuned, because everybody in the Cruxball team is super excited to talk to you about some things that are coming regarding staking. Take care everyone.